Greetings, ladies and gentles, and welcome to Coronation, the event that takes randomly selected contestants and asks them questions that apparently deem them worthy to be the next ruler of our kingdom. Let's meet the contestants, shall we? First, we have Botloff the Fine. His hobbies include dueling, slaying dragons, and conquering his enemies. <laughs> Behold, and find favor in the eyes of your king. Well, uh, thou, thou must first win a... He'll figure it out. Second, we have Lady Lynette of Bell Button, whose pastimes include receiving gifts, staring dreamily at nothing in particular, being rescued, and washing her hair in homemade mink butter. <laughs> My lady, does she not look beautiful? Third, we have Bert. No one's quite sure what Bert does. I do like kittens. Right. Shall we begin? Question number one. As a flock with no head lies exposed in the field, so does our land with no rule. But with inquiries asked and true essence unmasked, thou wilt separate royal from fool. Excuse me, uh, this is a closed event. If thou wish to have run for king, uh, thou should have... These a... games to be played are of utmost import, for they will determine the crown. Betwixt knight, hunched of back, and fairest of maid, the conquest for rule wilt go down. Question number one, Botlaw. If thou were crowned king, what would you do about the goblin attacks? Tis simple. I would merely invade every goblin lair in the land and tear them apart with my bare hands so that they no longer posed a threat. Your knight with the strength of 10,000 before may prove yet to not be made king. For though handsome and strong, he sees not right from wrong, and that is a dangerous thing. How dare you! Okay, let us, let us not lose our heads. Will somebody please remove this minstrel? All the better. Question number two. Lady Lynette, if famine were to grip the land, what would thou do to make sure the people do not starve? Well, I would start by donning the royal jewels. <laughs> yes, and then? And then I would sit in the window of the highest room in the palace so the people could look on something truly beautiful right before they starved. <laughs> Lynette, though she's fair, is impossibly vain, and no knave would want her as queen. But though this is true, her worries are few, for her locks have yon mink butter sheen. <laughs> By my truck, I swear, if you utter one more rhyme, I'll personally see to it you're sent to the stocks. <laughs> Question number three. Bert. Methinks, man, before me hath stone in his heart, for I merely offered my aid. But blame I cannot, for I see he's in want of hands that are less like a maid's. 